Hi guys, and welcome back to Wondershare Repair It. Today, we're looking at how to easily fix low resolution photos. Before we dive in, please give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on our future videos as we upload them. And without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. To put it simply, picture resolution is how much detail an image has and how many pixels an image has is referred to as resolution in digital imaging. It's measured as pixels per inch or PPI for short, and that's how many pixels are in one square inch. The resolution of a full image is shown as height by width, and devices now support resolutions of up to 50 megapixels. A higher pixel count means a higher resolution, and in turn, a higher quality of picture. A higher resolution is usually required for print, as the quality is higher than a screen. Image quality has a significant impact on the appearance of a photo. So for great looking images, you need to improve the quality, but there are several factors that can cause low resolution photos. When you increase the size of an image without an appropriate program, it loses quality and the resolution drops dramatically. So to avoid sacrificing image quality, we recommend you resize your images using an appropriate program. Shaky camera work is also one of the most common causes of low quality photos, as they will look fuzzy or out of focus. When the subject is not correctly focused, photographs can look fuzzy or blurry, which can make them very unappealing to look at. Not using the correct camera settings can also significantly impact image quality. Things like ISO, aperture and exposure all affect image quality. Severe file damage or corruption can also cause images to look grainy or pixelated, and file formats with damage or corruption can also appear to have low resolution. Now that you know what can cause low quality photos, let's run through some simple methods to improve image quality. The first method to fix low quality photos is to use Wondershare Repair It, a great program for repairing various images that have lost resolution due to corruption. Wondershare Repair It can repair damage to your photos with a single click, and the UI is very easy to use. It works on both Windows and Mac, and can even repair multiple photos at the same time. Repair It also supports a wide variety of file formats, including RAW and JPEG, and here's how it works. Install Wondershare Repair It on your computer and launch the software to get started. On the home screen, select Photo Repair. Click the Add button to load the images that you want to repair. Since Repair It supports batch processing, you'll be able to load multiple images at the same time. Once the images are loaded onto Repair It's timeline, tap the Repair button at the bottom right hand corner to initiate the repairing process. After the files get repaired, you'll see a confirmation pop up on your screen. Tap the OK button to see the preview and check the file has been repaired. Finally, click the Save All button to save the repaired files on your computer. The second method is to use Photoshop. Photoshop is an Adobe program well known for repairing images and can help you to fix the resolution of your photos. Here's how it works. Open Photoshop and select Open from the File menu. Locate the file you want to edit. Once your photo loads, choose Image from the top menu and select Image Size. In the box that appears, adjust the width, height and resolution and click OK to save the changes. Maintaining an image's resolution is very important. High resolution images are always better, whether that's for digital use or for printing. Here's a few extra pointers to ensure your images are of high quality and avoid low quality photos. One, avoid unnecessary resizing of the photo. Two, try to capture photos in RAW format where possible. Three, keep the ISO low in your camera settings. Four, use a tripod or monopod to stabilize your camera. And five, appropriately edit the shadows and brightness of your photos. That brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you now know a little bit more about image resolution and are able to fix faulty images in just a few clicks. If this video helped you, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare Repair It YouTube channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.